Okay, today's Living in Sacramento's vlog features Fair Oaks and a community that is near and dear to my heart. One of my favorite communities called Curro Downs. We're gonna take a look at it right now. Let's get going. Welcome to Sacramento's number one YouTube channel for all real estate news regarding Sacramento and the surrounding areas. So if that's you, hit that subscribe button and that bell will bring you bi-weekly content. We also go live every Wednesday at 5.30. So tune in, let's get going and let's talk a little Sacramento right now. If you're going off uh, the 50 and you're going east, you're gonna get off on Hazel and then you're going to go over the overpass. Now this is Curr Downs up there. Those are the bluffs. Beautiful houses that overlook Lake Natoma, which is really, really cool. Uh, this place is Curro Downs, and you're gonna notice that every Curro Downs, uh, of course, named after the famous uh, horse track, but all the streets are named after past winners in the horse races, which is really, really cool. Now, I sold a house here a little while ago, um, and I just fell in love with the area. It's really nicely maintained. Um, there's some open houses now and again, but you don't find too many houses for sale here. Um, so you're gonna be taking right now, if you go on Hazel, which we're at right now, you're gonna take a, um, a left on Crow Downs. And right now we got, I think, one open house happening here. The thing about this area too is, it's not so much that um, the price point, it's more of along the lines of availability. This area is very community friendly. I see horses now and again on the, in this community as well. So the community is nice, the location is great. Uh, it's close to an area called Sailor Bar, which is close to the, um, close to the river and lake, all that stuff. So, I mean, it's nice, it's great living. All the houses are set back, which I absolutely love. Um, and right now we're gonna go take a look at Curro Downs and see what it's all about. I'm gonna take you a little bit of a driving tour and go over some of the price points. The houses are nice, there's a lot of single story. They're all kinda, a lot of them are set back. Um, they have this kind of a nice little ranch-ish feel to it. Um, and just, I mean, it's an awesome place. Let's go take a look at where this, uh, open houses. I'm gonna guess it's probably gonna be more towards the condos and the bluffs, but look at this. Look how far these houses are set back. This is something that you really don't see too often in areas like your Fair Oaks, Gold River, or whatnot. Speaking of, this is one of the spots that I was looking at when I was looking to uh, to actually buy. I ended up buying in Gold River, um, but this was definitely an area I liked. Look at these street lamps right here. All the little attention to detail. I really love this area. It's definitely one of my favorite areas. Um, the other thing too I love about it is the fact that um, you have great views, great walking trails, and um, it's just a sense of community here as well. Uh, yep, I called it. So these are little condos over here. They kind of look like a little bit of the uh, of the manor homes in Gold River, but they're beautiful. Normally a lot of them have views. Really, really, these things when they come on the market, they are gone super fast. I actually know the listing agent, Bobby over there. She's an awesome lady at Caldwell. Um, but here is Curro Downs. Now, it isn't like I said, the price point on these homes, which is probably, I'd say, probably at this point between like, I don't know, maybe 700 for a, a smaller three and two to way over a million um, in this area. It's just a matter of that the people do not sell their houses once they're in this area. Um, there's no street parking. HOAs are a whopping $80, which is that anyone knows with HOAs is a pretty good deal. Um, all the houses are really pretty much set back, which I like. Family friendly, not, not a lot of speeding happening on these streets, which is nice. Like I said, super family friendly. Everyone looks out for each other, um, which is one of the things that I really um, love about this area. Good friend of mine, Steve Grimalis, who's with Guild Mortgage, lives here as well. He's kind of one of the, the main people in this area too. He knows all the neighbors and everything too. But what you're gonna see here is set back in some nice, tree greenish areas uh big backyards lots of trees though check it out tons of trees and just look at the size of the street you know a lot of people come here basically because um, you're gonna get a nice space between your neighbor and the house and the architecture in this area is really really nice as well really really beautiful um and this area is just awesome in Fair Oaks. So if you're someone who wants to kind of be close to Folsom, maybe wants a different style of, of living that you've seen in Fair Oaks, just different, you know, not good or bad, but this is definitely a part of Fair Oaks that a lot of people don't know about. 
let's go down the street take a look like I said these houses are big houses a lot of them are just kind of kind of like estate houses and this is definitely my favorite area in Fair Oaks just because I just love the architecture I love the idea of having a large backyard um, I love the trees as well so for me it's definitely one of my favorite areas um, all the houses are very unique individual you're gonna see maybe like there I would say they're as, as semi custom to custom close to custom as it gets uh, there are some custom homes in the area in fact this home that we're coming up to right now um, in the corner as you're seeing right here that was actually two three years ago when I was uh, listing a house on Pocono that was just a piece of land and then all of a sudden it was built to be a custom home which was really really nice gorgeous house but if you see all these houses are just so nice the interiors are all different you got a little mid-century mod going in as well neighbors all take care of themselves too really nice secure area um, parks walking all this kind of fun stuff so if you guys are kind of looking for something that it kind of resembles I mean because I grew up in the Bay Area it kind of resembles um, Mill Valley a little bit and uh, I love the area okay here we're gonna go down to Pocono which is my favorite court in Kuro Downs. Like I said, look at all these different variety of trees here. Just so, so nice. There's Steve's house. Hey, Steve. <laughs> and there's a the house I sold in Pocono. This is like, I think, man, like three years ago, I think. This house went for 535 and now it's way over seven. Like I said, these houses are gorgeous homes, really well taken care of. Huge pride of ownership as well. And um, the neighbors all get together. They do some like get where they close down the streets. So if you guys are looking for something like family friendly, everyone kind of looks out for each other. This is definitely a spot for you. You know, you got like lemon trees. You got all these beautiful, beautiful trees. Fair Oaks used to be or is the city of trees. And um, there's a reason why or the town of trees. And like I said, if you want to check out Kuro Downs, let me know. I love the area. I know about at least seven people that live in this area and they just love it. Uh, so if you're looking for something like, I would say the person who's looking in Kuro Downs is probably someone who's looking maybe in Gold River as well. Someone who's looking in Kenneth and that area of Fair Oaks. Someone who's maybe looking up at Orangevale as well, up at Woodbridge. This is an area that definitely competes with it. In fact, like I said, probably my favorite part of, um, of Fair Oaks, just because all the houses, you know, th there's just a there's just a variety of style of houses here that I don't see in a lot of parts of Sacramento. I mean, sure, some of them might be track, but they just don't look it. All the colors, there's solar on the roof, set back, and just, like I said, look at this entry, look at this street length. Look at that house right there. This is one of the ones that always catches people's eyes as well. Nice Tudor style home right there. So this is Kuro Downs. This is a quick vlog, but I just wanted to show you guys this area. I knew I did a driving tour about this area before, but it's definitely a spot you should definitely be looking at. Okay guys, the vlog is over. That was Kuro Downs in Fair Oaks. So if you're living in Sacramento or you're moving to Sacramento and you want to know a good spot to check out, Kuro Downs is definitely a great spot. One of my favorite spots in all of Fair Oaks and Sacramento Metro. Until next time guys, this is Mark. Have a good one. Guess what guys, the video just ended. But don't worry, we have more videos just like that one right over there. And if you missed that red subscribe button during the course of the video, we got you covered right there. Hit that subscribe button. We promise to bring you some amazing content. We won't let you down. Now, if you're looking for a team in the Sacramento metro area to work with, we'd love to talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. We always include a Zoom link down below. So book a time where we can talk to you a little one-on-one, -on -one, find out exactly what your real estate needs are.